Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Sean Veeg with SeanVeegFitness.com. Got a review and yoga workout for you today featuring the Plank Yoga Mat from PlankDesigns.com. As you can see, I got the design that has all these cool little pills on it. I've been using this in my yoga classes, and it definitely creates quite a stir. Let me just talk about the designs. There's three designs they have. One is pills, the other is shag carpeting, and the other is a cobra snake. I'm a little afraid of snakes, so I opted for the pill one. But you got chiclets on there. You got some other, I think you got Tylenol. And uh, and you can think, like, the more yoga you do, the less you'll need all these pills, except for the chiclets, because chiclets are awesome. It's an extremely sturdy mat. It's made from natural rubber. You can hand wash it. The coating on it is actually heat activated. I've never seen a mat like this. We're going to use it in the workout right after I talk here, but just stay, stay with me for a moment. It's heat activated, so you get much better foundation control. You get um, a much stronger surface. I have so many mats that I've had to just toss away or give to the Smithsonian because I just rip the hell out of them. I rip them with my feet, my hands. I'm very, I'm very rough with the yoga mats. I'm, I'm really, you know, I just, I like to get my money's worth. This is a very, very sturdy mat. On the website, it also says that the surface is closed cell, which mean, which means it's uh, there's no odor, there's no weird, bad, stinky bo odor, and uh, you can hand wash it and use it and it's just gonna last for a very long time. So let's take this mat, the pill mat, out into the streets and give ourselves a good yoga, power yoga flow workout. Great for men and women just like the mat of all ages and fitness levels. Okay, let's go. Ah, oh, what a glorious sunny spot. By the way, the link is in the about section to uh, Order your very own plank yoga mat and get a nice discount as well. Remember, choose from the three different designs. The shag carpeting, which is groovy. The snake, which is scary. And the pills, which will definitely get a conversation going in your yoga classes. So let's do a flow workout here. Activate this mat and see what we got. Tuck in the shirt. Open the fingers while it's coming to downward facing dog. Good, you can feel the warmth on this mat. Nice, solid stretch here in the pose and let's walk the legs one at a time as you open those fingers you want to feel really grounded one of the big mission statements of this mat is to ground your practice to really feel it from the ground up into your bones into your muscles let's relax the neck and you feel that heat in the hands and again this surface is very strong I've ripped up so many yoga mats, it'd be very tough to rip this one up. This one's going to last for a long time. Let's do four more steps here. One, twist it out a little bit. Two, three, and four. All right, bring it forward into plank position. One of my favorite poses, if not the favorite of Sean Vig, which is me, c'est moi. Open those fingers wide, elbows in, shoulders back, press the heels back. <sighs> always building that foundation of every pose that's where the control starts the grace the strength the control the balance good feel that warmth in the hands now press forward let's go into hover we do our vinyasa flows we got to do some hovers drop your knees to modify elbows hugging the ribs eyes to the floor yep mat smells good doesn't stink at all it smells great I've, I've been around some stinky mats whoa all right bring it all the way down roll the shoulders back lift up Upward facing dog, keep the knees down if you like. Squeeze the glutes, protect the butt, feel the tops of the feet on the mat. That is nice. I do feel that warmth. It's not just from the sun. Usually the mats are very cold. It's like getting up on a cold morning and putting your feet on the ground without slippers. All right, bring it back to down dog. Spread those toes nice and wide. Stretch those arms. Shoulder blades separating. Now walk or jump your feet to the hands. Dun, dun, dun. I just squashed a chiclet. We have forward fold. We're going to rise all the way up, round that upper back. Feel that strength. Shoulders back, arms up, press back. Chair pose, big foundation pose. Weight is in the heels. By the way, a lot of these poses are featured in my upcoming book, Power Yoga for Athletes. Pre-order now at SeanVeekFitness.com. Shameless plug. But it all goes together sold or found wherever books are sold open those arms a little wider the weight is out of the toes you should be able to wiggle your toes 
Good, nice warm heels here. The mat is holding me nicely. Now exhale, dive down, lace the fingers. Yoga mudra. Let the top of the head sink towards the mat. Keep your knees a little soft. Play a little game, try to guess which pills are which. Again, we identified Tylenol. I think there's, is there Zoloft or Xanax, someone said in class. It's like a water cooler. Everyone gathers around the mat. All right, inhale, bring it all the way up. Take a moment, let the blood move out of the head. Unlace the fingers, bring the arms up. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Step back, downward facing dog. Let's go through our flow again. Open those fingers. Good. Feel that sturdiness in the mat, in the toes. Inhale forward, plank position. Good. Nice softness in the mat too, protecting the joints. Press forward, lower down. Some of these yoga mats are so thin and flimsy. Might as well just be doing your practice on the cement. Again, the mat smells good. Bring it down and then up dog or bring the knees down. All right, take it back to down dog. Let's test out a lunge on here. Bring your right leg up, three-legged dog. Three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the right foot forward. Knee and ankle line up, stretch out that back leg. Keep the hands down or fix the blouse and bring the arms up. Crescent lunge, as you exhale, sink into that front leg. Relax the shoulders. Good, my foot's not slipping. Nice and sturdy on both ends. Fingertips together, reach back a little further. Let's add some cactus arms. Exhale, open the chest. Big opening in the upper body. Open your heart, as people say. Mach die Herz auf. I think that's how we say it. Auf Deutsch. All right, now exhale, bring the hands down. Step back to plank position. Addie's barking because she wants a mat. Let's go through the flow, and I'll meet you back at downward facing dog. Vinyasa flow, every muscle involved. Foundation, feel the mat underneath you. Really feel that ground. Inhale, left leg up. Mat's warm. We're in the shade right now. The cloud blocked the sun. The mat is nice and warm. Exhale, bring it forward. Lunge or arms up. Ah, uh, okay, there we go. Stretch that back leg. I like the analogy of getting up. You know, I lived in Florida. It's hardly ever cold there. If it is, it's like, oh my God, it went down to 60. Everyone's wearing winter coats and everything. You don't really get that. But living here in the mountains in Colorado at 8,500 feet, see the deer back there? Mule deer, isn't that awesome? Hope you can see them. Crap, now I have to pay them. All right, but well, I dig, what was I saying? Yes, living here in the colder weather, that floor can be cold. So nice to have a solid, warm, Floor. All right, exhale, cactus arms. The deer threw me off. Remember, plankdesigns.com. Get your mat. Check the link in the about section. We'll set it up for you. Open the chest and bring the hands down. Step back, plank position. Go through the flow. Let's meet back in downward facing dog. Little twist side to side. Perhaps we'll have a moose come up and say hi. <laughs> Back to down dog. Now bring the knees down. Cat cow, fantastic spinal articulation flows here. We got the hands down, open those fingers. We got the knees down. Feel the knees on the mat, nice and soft. I'm crushing a Tylenol. It looks like a big Tylenol. What movie is that, is that from? Comment below what movie that is from. <laughs> looks like a big Tylenol. Inhale, round up, cat pose. <laughs> Exhale, let's go to cow. Drop the stomach down, roll the shoulders back. Huge stretch for the spine. And one more time, each one. Inhale, round up. Stretch, separate those shoulders. Exhale, drop down. Feels good. Again, feel that heat in the hands and the knees just traveling up. Let's test out something a little more challenging. Bring the legs up. Come to catcher's pose. Open the hips. Use the elbows to really pry open those hips. Sink down. Nice and tall in the upper body. You could stay here or go to the crow. Here's an arm balance one. More challenging. Take the hands down. Open the fingers wide. 
feel that sturdiness and then press forward feet coming a little bit off the mat you could leave the toes down if you want or bring the feet off the mat this is crow from mystery science theater there we are all right step back we have our catcher squat now have a seat let's see how our butt feels on the mat very nice we come to half boat pose bring the feet up together arms forward shoulders back and down good it's nice and comfy a lot of yoga mats you got to roll them up like three or four times to really get that comfort on the tailbone this feels pretty good good support you want more take the legs out arms up it's three more breaths all right bring it down onto your back all right, let's do two more poses down here one of my favorites the shoulder bridge head is down feel the support good feet hip width apart arms to sides inhale lift up shoulder bridge right here lace your fingers together for more you can also walk your shoulders underneath good feel that clear coating on the mat open the chest open the bones of the chest as you exhale feel that nice little squeeze in your back those muscles engaging engage Got my head on a chiclet. Got my head on a chiclet. Okay, bring it down. Let's do one more here. Shoulder stand. Now options, you can bring the knees into the chest. Beautiful stretch for your lower back. Feel that mat massaging your lower back. Or come on up. <sighs> Hands on your lower back. Eyes to the toes. That's <sighs> one net pose relaxes and invigorates. So we got our arms down the mat. Back of the head feels nice and warm. Heat activation coming into play. Again, this mat is perfect for the beginner or the veteran. Great for men and women. Shoulders stay. Let's do two more breaths. Lift a little higher. And come on down. Bring the knees in. All right. Great flow, my friends. Great little 10-minute flow there on the plank yoga mat. Again, the link is in the about section. Get your very own mat at a discounted price. We got the pill version. That sounds weird, but I do like saying that. The pill version, the shag carpeting version, the Brady Bunch shag carpeting version, and the snake. Snake. Cobra Kai never dies. So thank you very much to um, Plank Designs for sending me this mat. I will continue using it in my own classes, creating a stir and uh, enjoying it very strong definitely will hold up to all the beatings i'm going to give it so highly recommended from me sean veeg with seanveegfitness.com and make sure you subscribe to my channel like this video comment below uh, and share i love that share my videos tell everybody tell everyone about the plank yoga mat and uh, pre-order my new book power yoga for athletes comes out june 1st of this year found wherever books are sold link is in the about section also at seanveegfitness.com so thank you very much it's a pleasure as always to be here with you and I will see you very soon probably up here in the mountains with beasts running behind me <laughs>